All right, Dunkirk. This is for... Did I mark it off right? Striker. There was Striker. Okay, and I did, the grass game was for Big M. Okay, here we go. If you can get decent matchmaking, the ship is playable. But if you're if you're middle tier or top tier, she's okay. If you're bottom tier, playing the ship's miserable. It's just miserable. Now, I will say, um, when she was first released, I had some fun diving out with some friends with her. We would take her out in double and triple Dunkirk divs, and we just fire HE all the time. I remember one game on Two Brothers, we burned down a we burned down a war spite in like three minutes. The first three minutes of the game, like war spite came out, and we just we just we just kept firing HE at him until he was dead. And at one point, he had like four fires. Guy was super salty. What kind of pansy battleships fire an HE? Y'all gotta learn how to play battle. Y'all don't even know how to play the game. This is before the British battleship line was released, right? Triple Leone does much the same thing, Palervo. Yes, exactly. Who knows how to play taps in French? Womp, womp, womp. Now, admittedly, there's only three tier eight ships on each team. One of them just happens to be a Shokaku. Amazing. Won't that be awesome? Well, we're keeping the HE loaded. All right, I got to think about this. I think with Dunkirk's speed... Oh my god, Duke, shut up. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Staying alive, staying alive. With Dunkirk's speed, I like the idea of taking her kind of around the top of the sea cap 7-8 and then pushing south down like the 9 line. The problem is doing that kind of makes you a bit of a carrier magnet. And it looks like I'm going to have zero help at this cap. The Fuso and the Miyoko are already running south. Which, in my opinion, is quite possibly the worst play you could be making. Because you kind of really should fight for this cap. Shoket. That's right. No, I agree with you. Dunkirk's not a brawler. That's not what she does. Thuso staying up here at least? Well, that's something. The problem with playing a support ship is that you have to have something to support. There's no point, Reed. They won't listen anyway. The problem with playing a support ship is you have to have something to support, right? And that is all too commonly not the case. And this mines is going to show me a shot. I'll take that. Am I behind him? Looks like I'm a little behind him. I might clip him with a couple. Yep, yeah, take your fire. Interestingly enough, it looks like they're running away from C as well. Their Akatsuki is in the middle of the board. Our Yudachi's trying to grab B, which I actually like that play quite a bit, if I'm honest. Interesting. This game is developing very strangely. If I push through C, do I draw too much attention from the carrier? You think? I'm kind of leaning towards trying it anyway. They don't seem to have anybody coming this direction, which I'm, I'm legit surprised about. Like, who takes their American standard and runs away from all the caps in the first few minutes of the game? Like, that feels like a bad idea. But that's literally what that New Mexico is doing. Yudachi's trying to get torpedoed in his own in smoke. No, in, that, in, in tier 6, 7 ranked Andrew, she's fine. Honestly, in that kind of format, she's probably better than she is anywhere else because you know you're not going to be bottom tier. Ships like Dunkirk love that. Love those kinds of protected matchmaking because they know for a fact... They will not be bottom tier. 
Our Yudachi is going to pick up B. All right. Alba's out. I'm spotted by planes. And I've got a New Orleans to beat up on. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, Cairo, that New Mexico looks like he's running. I'm just saying. I'm going to finish... Uh, I was going to say I'm going to slow down so I can finish capping. But I'm spotted on the surface from the mines. Is he taking pot shots at me? He isn't yet. Yeah, he got... That was actually a clever drop. Yeah, he got me. He literally got me with a tenth of a second left, too. He's not going to get much. Hey guys, why are y'all back off the cap while I'm right here? Damn, desert road, no gas, and no chicks. God, why bother firing the AP to anybody in this game? Let's keep focusing the mines, I think. Keep the HE loaded. That's probably the right way. Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. If you're going to be out of range eventually, D-Bag, then what are you going to do? He hasn't once shot the Fuso behind me. He's not interested in resetting the cap. He's interested in farming damage. Uh, much better. Be another loss. This will absolutely be another loss. Nuremberg and Fuso have been completely ineffective the entire game, having accomplished basically nothing. Fuso finally managed to do something useful. I 
All right, we've caught up on ships. We've got a cap. We've got a cap lead. That feels decent. I'm going to stay near this North Carolina. That dude is my new best friend. Iron's dead. This guy thinks I probably don't have AP loaded. He's about to discover his error. Get off my board. Well, at least he got an ending. I need you to stay right here, North Carolina. I need you to stay right near me, buddy. You're about to get torpedoed by your own Udachi, by the way. So you should probably keep an eye out for that. Punch him. Punch him, please. No, oh, you weren't supposed to get thumped by the New Mexico. Thank you. That's what we needed. Okay. Okay. Decent hit. Decent. Yeah, I'm going to die out here. I should have stayed behind the island. It's probably too late for me now. The carry will be all over me soon. The Fuso and the Nuremberg continue to not be very useful, so... Oh well, it is what it is, I suppose. It's fine, I'll just swap to the HE, sir. You don't frighten me. I know how bad the Veneto is, you don't scare me at all. Well, guys, good luck. If these two clowns had been involved in the game more than they had, we might be in a better position. We're also getting... Well, I would say we're getting out-carried, but we're kind of not. Not really. Well, I was cr I'm was crossfired because I moved up when I shouldn't have, right? I should have stayed behind the island where it limited the, sh the incoming shots I was going to have to deal with. But this Fuso has hung back the whole game... And the Nuremberg dying was only a matter of time because it's a Nuremberg, right? And so now you're stuck with just this Fuso who's finally going to kill the new mechs. Looks like the Enterprise may finally get his revenge on the Veneto. But as soon as the Shokaku wants the Fuso dead, it's going to happen. Like, that's just... its It will absolutely happen and there, nothing will stop it. Enterprise is in such a hurry to drop that he's going to blow the drop again. He blew back-to-back -back torpedo drops on the Veneto. Nagato might... I mean, the Fuso might deal with it. Let's see. He only needs a couple of hits. 
Nope. 300. Look at this, guys. 380 on one HP on one battleship, 600 on the other. Fuso's about to get smacked. They are finally going to kill the Veneto, I think. No, he's healing now. Both of them are healing. You had two battleships under 700 horse, 700 HP a pop, and you let them, you let them live. This is on you fools. They might kill the Veneto here. Nope, didn't hit him. Fuso's dead, as predicted. He needs to ram the New Mexico, but he won't live long enough to do it. The best thing he... No, he's dead. The best option he could have hoped for right there was to ram the New Mexico, and he doesn't understand how to play Fuso, so... No idea how to read a map. Your Enterprise is so far from the action, he's largely ineffective. Our Enterprise needs to be focusing the, the 10,000 HP New Mexico. Hey, he's finally figured that out. Took him a while. A crowbar would come in handy right about now. How about some Citadels? Yeah, you got some full pins. Now, the now, what's interesting about this is that the Shokaku is still completely ineffective against the Yudachi. That, nothing's going to change that. Except this, where you sit in smoke and you tell him where to aim his rockets. We do have a cap lead. Our victory is in sight. The advantage here is that we have a cap lead and all they have left is two slow-ass battleships. If we kill the new mechs... Even if they get onto B, and I'm not convinced they can get onto B in time, it might not matter. The Udachi being hard for the Shokaku to kill actually works in our favor at this point. All right, dude, you need to kill. You need to kill the New Mexico with these torps. No, no more of that garbage like you had on the on the Veneto earlier. Okay, you need to make this happen. Shokaku's gonna go put fighters out there, buddy. Like he's gonna cover his teammates now. Yep, there's the fighter. You're going to get one run with these, so make it count. I think you've got him. Looks like you've got him. One, two. There it is. Well done. Now, the fighters have latched, so they're all dead. You're going to get one torp into the water. Bring back the bring back the H vars, buddy. See if you can get a flood. Nope, you didn't even get a hit. But the trouble is, even if they even when they step onto B, I think we're too close to victory at this point. I think we're just too close. Yeah, yeah, they can't get onto C in time. So as long as we don't lose both ships, we should win now. No, I agree with you, Finder. It's not a bad trade. He lost the whole squadron, which feels bad, but it's not the end of the world. What the Udachi really should do, the Udachi needs to go back and play by the Enterprise and snuggle up to his AA. Don't eat that torpedo. <coughs> Learn how to con your ship. Now the Udachis can actually, this can actually go badly for the Udachi. If he's not careful. The fighter cover will help. There we go. The fighters will latch and wipe those planes out. Wait a minute. Why are there living planes? What the hell just happened? Are fighters bugged right now? He should have. There were there are ten fighters in that squadron. He should have annihilated the entire group. All right. Note to Askins. Apparently, that's a that's a that's a that's wrong. Don't turn into the torpedoes this time. Hey, good. You figured it out. Thirty seconds to a win.
This guy really just needs to go hide behind this island and snuggle up to inter the Enterprise's AA bubble. Yeah, no, though, I'll probably go back and clip that and send it in. That's The fighters are supposed to kill at a one-to-one -one ratio. Even if they kill the Udachi at this point, they can't win because they can't, they can't get onto C in time for it to matter. This dude... I hate his board position, but he played a decent game. Yeah, no, you're not wrong, Finders. We got that new giveaway running, didn't we, 4BF? Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't get to see end screens until later. Remember, guys, you got done playing Warships. You got to wait for 35 seconds. Then you get to find out how the game result was. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Moist Naval. What a great name. Welcome in. JDS. It's Red Name Charms. Guys, thank you for the follows. I think I missed them all. Sorry about that. Um... The only thing that I'm unhappy about there is the, the 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 decision that I made to come out of the you know I was I was there in the B cap with the North Carolina off my port side. He's going to die. Shokaku's going to ensure his death. I should have stayed where I was. Right? It wasn't a great position, but it wasn't like where I could get triple teamed, which is what happened when I sailed too far forward. So that was just that was obvi a, a a obviously bad positional error on my part. Um, beyond that, I'm I'm actually not totally unhappy with how that game went. I was really excited about that Ismail Salvo. 